Firstly, sport thrives through unpredictability, while other media thrives through homogeneity. What do I mean by that? Well, most forms of entertainment in the world, commercial entertainment, are trending over time towards sameness. They're getting narrower. They're becoming more repetitive and more formulaic, repetitive expressions of the same handful of creative ideas. These were the top 50 highest grossing films at the global box office last year. 42 of them were prequels, sequels, remakes, adaptations, or spin-offs, or franchise entries. 42 of the top 50. I like film as much as the next guy, but it does seem there's a dearth of original creativity at the very top of our global movie industry. There's some fascinating publicly available data, incidentally, about the repetitive nature of commercially successful music. Over time, commercially successful top 40 music is getting more repetitive in its lyrics and in its backing tracks. Sport, of course, is cyclical. There's no denying that. But with each year that passes, we see new heroes emerge. We see new formats of our games, new types of experience, new types of attendance experience, new demographics. So it seems to me that as other forms of media and other forms of entertainment trend more and more towards satisfying that part of the brain that craves familiarity and certainty and predictability, sport has this unique opportunity to be, the, to be our outlet for uncertainty, to service our deep biological desire to be surprised for diversity, for new things. And I think sport's increasingly unique in its ability to do that.